ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a very special night and party celebration. You can't tell you who they are. Run! Peoples, what's good? You're on deck with Third Eye Cam, and today's date is April 3rd, 2020, and the time is 15:50, 3:50 for my civilians. I'm just now getting freed up from my day. And you can see the train behind me working, and uh, this is my second day of having pretty blue skies. You can see the sun behind me. Let me flip you around to the moon. Right above that tree is the moon. I'll draw in close as I walk through this. And that's my south. Above my head, I got a lot of buildings around me. Oh, there's 5G Tower, look at that. There's my uh, north. And of course, that's my east where the moon is going. But uh, aside from all that, um, it's been a good day. It's kind of hot out here. So I think it's about 72 degrees. So with that being said, um, with these uh this clear sky now that i got some clear skies i'm going to be pointing my telescope wherever mars is should be coming up behind uh you see mars is in front of the sun so it's already going down so sometime in the middle of the night i'm going to get up and take my telescope out and hunt for that uh that comet that's supposed to be coming in april 29th and i'm gonna start surveying it now that i got some time and clear skies like i said but uh, the thing is, just listening to people like uh, rap the news break down the whole Bible, the Sefer, the Torah, um, the Mormon book, and he's bringing all the, the, these, these historical books together. And he's kind of created a new path that probably was disseminated a long time ago and a lot of people still stuck like he said on one book or a few books nobody wants you to read any other books but that's not my story i'm looking at these signs that are coming in myself catching uh anomalies in the skies asteroids comets uh what sam hoffman calls ocg which is orbital clustering group which i call them acgs asteroidal cluster ring groups and um, then me catching planets and spheres, like that's unheard of. And I have to be fact checking myself. Like I said, if I am wrong, I'll, I'll stand corrected. But based on everything that Sam Hoffman has said about how they're coming in and they got their, their base clouds and they're coming in tilted on their side, rolling across our planet. And uh, you know, it's just like a lot of debris around them. And I'm catching them. I've never caught anything like this. Um, and it's like I came at the right time. I broke my leg in 2017, so that slowed me way down. Uh, a decade ago, I was in the Marines, so I didn't have time for any of this, and nor did I have an interest in it, other than just looking up at the sky and admiring it. But now I'm actually uh, logging it per the, the, the GoPro, my camera, and my telescope. Um, big up to GoPro, Canon, Celestron. Fuji film those are the cameras I do have and big up to all the other cameras that uh everybody might have if they're properly using them and phone cameras also but whatever we get ready to go into is just going to be something of epic proportion and it's going to be unique to our time so um people don't take advantage of whatever the situation is and and try to to beat the system or whatever it is you're trying to, to, to deal with in a negative connotation if you believe in God stick close to God he'll get you through this if you have faith in God stick with God Yahuwah and he'll get you through this some people call him Jehovah for all those that are not familiar with the name Yahuwah or Yahweh. he goes by many names 
and I'm not here to get into that either. That's a whole nother topic I'm gonna cover. But I'm touching on these things because um, where people were more relaxed months ago, two months ago, uh, February, January, December, you know, all the way back, and now everybody's on edge and everybody's treating everybody like we all have the COVID HIV disease, you know? Um, and I understand the social distancing, but my thing is, what if there's something more to it than just that? You know, what if, uh, what if they don't want us to see something coming out of the sky like this asteroid? It might sweep too close to the earth and tear this place up. That might be wormwood, we don't know. But I'm not here to debunk anybody. We're just gonna see what happens. But I'm making you aware that I'm aware that if it should go down, then if you're one of my subscribers or you just so happen to watch my page, then you'll say, well, he did say it. I honestly hope I'm wrong. I don't wanna to have to deal with that. I have children, just like a lot of you all. I have family, myself. I don't think I'm ready to deal with the uh, earth switching up into a whole nother environment that we're not used to, to uh, dealing with as we sustain ourselves. But if indeed the world's time is up with God, then you know, this is what we gotta go through. And I'd rather take my chances with that than it just be in Big Bang, I don't know where theory, type of an accident with a cataclysmic, uh, you know, asteroid coming in or whatever. But um, no, I'm not even gonna look at the skies right now because it's all clear, there's nothing to look for. As you can see, I'll show you again. There's the sun and I'll show you the rest. There's the top, spin it around. There's my east and the moon is over that way on the rise. Just over a half a moon is behind that tree. Of course my south and my north. And with that being said, uh, I'm gonna stop real right here and just kind of enjoy it. Oh, there's the moon above that house. I'll zoom in once I get where I'm going to. But um, yeah, this is this is awkward to see that all the uh, asteroids and have moved back. And I don't know where my planetoids are, but it seems that like everything has moved back away from the Earth. I call this the calm before the storm. And I'm talking about the big storm. It might be a couple months, it might be a couple years. But something's coming. We all know it. And by the way, I'm in Hen Henrico, Virginia. Big up Henrico. Yeah. Pretty much next to Rich Ri ah, next to Richmond. It was my tongue, my brain doing that thing again. Alright, third I Kim, we're gonna chat later. Poof. <laughs>